what do we really know about our past? Are we suffering from a collective memory loss? Where do we come from? Where do we come from? Was there a technically advanced unified civilization on our planet less than 500 years ago? Star cities, one of the markers of this civilization. Was there a reset that destroyed large parts of our past, our knowledge and culture? Nothing is as it seems. It's time for us to remember again and lift the veil of deception. What do we really know about our past? What if everything was different from what we have always been told? Was there a technically advanced unified civilization on our planet less than 500 years ago? The scale and complexity of star cities make them unreasonable for defense. Are star cities one of the markers of this civilization? Did this civilization break into pieces in the course of a massive cataclysm? Was there a reset that destroyed large parts of our past, our knowledge and culture? Was industrialization, the establishment of central banks, the debt money system and the political system of fake democracy a consequence of this reset? Was religion established as a means of manipulation after the previous society collapsed and unimaginable suffering settled over the earth? Are the great religions merely cults of salvation and redemption in reaction to the experienced end of the world? Plasma, electric and magnetic lab where he's produced many of the geological forms seen on Earth, Mars and the Moon. Why has Scythia, then Tartary, been erased from the maps and from our memory? Was Pompeii not buried until the eruption of Vesuvius in 1631 AD, as the researcher Andreas Churilov claims? Why do the inscriptions on the walls and houses in Pompeii speak of a war of Rome against Free Italy? If Pompeii sank only 400 years ago, why is there no church or other Christian symbolism in the excavated city? How is it that cave paintings that have lasted thousands of years deteriorate so soon after modern discovery? Are they simply modern forgeries intended to establish the theory of evolution? Why were the first cave paintings discovered only after the theory of evolution was firmly established? Cave paintings went seemingly unnoticed to mankind until 1878, when a member of the influential Spanish Santander family discovered them in a cave on his property in Altamira. 
It remains a fact that most scholars at the time thought the paintings in Altamira Cave were a Darwinist forgery. Why does architecture before the 20th century exhibit the same principles worldwide? The structures of the ancient world were based on principles that we now call Greco-Roman. Did the Industrial Revolution merely reintroduce technological knowledge that we had previously possessed? Why did human knowledge explode in the 19th century, only to stagnate? Apart from computers and the Internet, there has been no fundamental breakthrough in technology for 100 years. What role did the World's Fairs play in introducing forgotten technology? Why did the World's Fairs all incur huge losses, despite their funding by profit-minded industrial robber barons? Demolishing hundreds of impressive neoclassical buildings so soon after their construction adds to the mystery of this losing proposition. Were these power players secretly destroying remnants of old world structures under the pretense of a temporary exposition? Why were millions of orphans taken against their will by the church to the new world? What happened in Europe that millions of families allowed their children to be taken from them? Why was it only in the 19th century that insane asylums began to be established and why were both political dissidents and the supposedly mentally ill imprisoned there? Why do these asylums exhibit the same architectural principles that we know from the old world? Were the impressive buildings of the old unified civilization repurposed as prisons for those who resisted the new order? To date, almost all these asylums have been demolished. Another economic mystery. Were the asylums just the logical continuation of the church's inquisition and witch hunts? How long did it take to wipe out the last keepers of ancient knowledge? Freemasons called Freemasons because they pass off the architecture of the old world as their own work. Freemasonry equals Freemasonry. Was colonialism and imperialism of the Spanish, Portuguese and British nothing more than a merciless worldwide raid to destroy and annex the remnants of the ancient world? Was the civil war in the US really a war between the Vatican-infiltrated northern states and the freedom-loving southern region who refused to deny their true past. Or was the establishment of communism and a 20th century global conflict two sides of the same coin to wipe out any last remnant of European old world culture Does the big 
biblical serpent symbolized the primordial enemy of mankind, a hostile non-human race? Was there once a unified language on earth? Are the events of the 1811 Great Comet, 1812 New Madrid Earthquake and 1816 Year Without a Summer representative of a single event in history? Why does Napoleon appear exactly at this time to allegedly destroy half of Europe? Was Napoleon invented as a historical placemaker for a cataclysmic disaster that occurred in Europe? It's an it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. Was modern science, specifically physics, astrophysics, archaeology, evolutionary biology and geology, created just to keep us in a mental prison? Why are people getting sicker and sicker? Has most of the real knowledge been stolen from us? Is the myth of the Biblical Flood the echoes of an event that wiped out the ancient world less than 500 years ago? Were there giants on Earth? Did we worship them as gods? Did they teach us secret knowledge about architecture, medicine, astronomy and our origins? Are they the creators of the star cities, the complex canal systems and grid patterns found all over the planet? Perhaps Earth was a gigantic terraforming project. Was free ether energy replaced with messy energy extraction from limited resources to enslave humanity? Were star cities used for energy production and energetic protection from our enemies? What role did frequencies play in the creation of highly complex star forms? Are we suffering from a collective memory loss? Is history nothing more than an artificial matrix of repetitive events created for the purpose of suppressing our true potential? Who benefits from keeping humanity asleep? Who are we really and where do we come from? Why does it seem that more truth is found in the ancient stories and myths of our ancestors than our textbooks and modern scientific research? Does our amnesia keep us from accessing these collective memories found in ancient myths? Is that lost part of humanity the reason modern life is so cold and hostile? Nothing is as it seems. It's time for us to remember again. Was uns menschlich sein lässt.